You're watching Lunker Junkies TV's Angler Encyclopedia series. Tips, tricks, and some great information from some of the top guides and pros in the Pacific Northwest. Get your notebooks out and stay tuned. Okay, so we got the first fish of the morning on here. It feels like big old lean's what it feels like. Fishing in a hundred foot depth. Okay, so uh, we're gonna be, this is my uh, lean cod fishing rig. So it's pretty simple. I just make a, a spreader out of electric fence wire. And that's so if I lose it, it just rots away. Uh, not a bunch of stainless steel laying down there. Uh, we're gonna start off with about uh, eight ounces of lead on what is the equivalent of about a 14 inch dropper. And then uh, from the spreader I take and I run about a three foot leader to a slip rig, a mooching rig. Uh, put a little bend in the herring. Um, just gives it that fatal roll that fish just can't resist. Okay, so this is, uh, this I use my herring. All the herring that I use are ones that I jig up myself. And so they're really, really good for bottom fishing, not real good for salmon fishing because their bellies are real thin. But all, the, reason, the reason I use uh, slip tie is for this reason. I don't worry about cut plugging or anything like that to get a roll on it. I take the trailing hook and I just stick it back here by the tail, anywhere. Push it through, get some of that point showing through. Then I take the tow hook and I put it up here just ahead of the eye. Push it in, bring it back out around the gill plate, like that. And then all I have to do is pull it up tight, put as much of a bend in it as I want, and it'll roll down there. Um, up from the spreader, I use uh, grubs or shrimp flies, uh, tipped with a little piece of piece of meat. It's either herring or, uh, in this case here, it's uh, some procure octopus. Um, and then uh, we can add scent to it and stuff if we want. Uh, something I like to do, whether I'm using a whole octopus or a little piece octopus or um, herring, is uh, put these little bait buttons on here. So the little uh, little discs, they come in uh, different sizes. This is the larger one. Works really good for uh, um, offshore things like this. Anyway, just push it on your hook and it uh, kind of comes down and keeps the bait on there. Uh, uh, octopus and squid's real tough anyway, but it just kind of helps keep it on there down close to the fly so it doesn't interfere with things and uh, makes it so the fish don't take it off. It's easy. Then uh, what I do is, uh, you're always drifting some, I like to take and get people to uh, kind of flip their bait out just a little bit. That kind of keeps from getting tangled. And then uh, just lower it down. Give it kind of a controlled fall down till you feel it hit the bottom. Then once it hits the bottom, um, just uh, uh, I let it tap the bottom every once in a while. I don't want it to drag the bottom because the lid will hang up. Um, it only needs to be near it. These fish will come up to take that spinning herring. So there's on the bottom right there now. So, and then I just give it a couple turns and I just let it, I just let it set there. If I feel the bottom, I just give it a turn. Like I said, I don't want it near the bottom, not right on the bottom. And that's really all we're gonna do today. So we're over sand right now, so we gotta find some rock structure. Uh, we drifted off of the mound we were on, uh, but uh, we'll go find it and nice. come back up and catch some fish.